Oh, that, I mean, it's something you never expect. That's for sure. When we went into it, you were saying that for a while when you're doing a show down where we shoot it, it feels a little bit like you're just doing it for each other. It's like and, a secret. Yeah. And maybe you're going to put on a pl big play for your family. <laughs> in, in your mum will come. Yeah, your mum will come <laughs> and watch it. And when you discover sort of it's being sold to however many countries all around the world, it's a giant success. It was so well for stars. 127 mums. Yeah, it feels like 127 <laughs> mums from different nationalities to have been impressed. Um, but yeah, so it's been very different. Going back into the second season, knowing that they're expectations has been exciting. So everyone's on their own journeys, you... Yeah, you we go to the new world. Go to the new world, Lucretia has to get out of Florence. Um, through, everyone's on, on an, either a physical or an emotional journey this season. Yeah, we felt like the, the first season was kind of a prequel and the second season sort of kicks the doors off the story. It, um, it pays off all the investment that people had in season one. And uh, it's bigger, it's just more mm. expansive. Literally, we've, we've, we've opened up the world. We're no longer just in Italy, we're all over the place. Um, that, well, that's the thing. You try and find out as much stuff you, as you can that is based in truth, and then you try and find those elements that latch onto something that you can recognise from today. So, your own struggle with perfectionism or self-criticism or, or difficult relationships with your family, or all those things that everyone's been through. Um, and that's the stuff that you found he had. He was illegitimate. He couldn't inherit wealth or land. So, it was incredible that he overcame such limitations and constraints. I say it is real sexy. <laughs> do you mean <laughs> <laughs> the, the people when they say it's too sexy? Too raunchy. I, don't, I think too they're wrong. Raunchy. I think it's far less raunchy than some shows on TV. I have to say. It was so funny because I remember being a kid and the telly being on and my parents saying to me, "Right, up to bed now. You're not watching this. This is, you know, your mum and dad's time to watch the telly." Because um, there might have been a scene in the show, or whatever, that they didn't want their kids to watch. Now I'm saying to them, right, up to bed. <laughs> you don't want to watch. <laughs> you don't want to watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that it's it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and 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 when trigonometry is a triviality to him, but to everyone else it's impossible. He just goes, no, you deal with that. I've got the most ridiculous thing I've got to work out. So it keeps driving him. And the question is, if he ever finds it or found it, or if he finds it in season two what that would do to him.